that's not fixed. It doesn't need to be fixed. It's uh, it's, it's as intended. He says, if you're seeing the ball bounce around the rim a lot before going in, it means that you're hitting outside the edge of the green window. You'll see swishes if your timing is perfect. Hey guys, it's LJ. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more great contents from my daddy. Good morning out there, 2K Land, man. Real quick, man, a lot of people will hit me up in the comments saying, you know, they wanted to know what's going on with the giveaway. Real simple with the giveaway, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but those videos, I say I had a, just, just a real quick criteria for it. It was real simple. You didn't have to sub. You didn't have to do nothing. All you had to do was like the videos, and you had to uh, comment that you wanted the game or whatever. Each video had to reach 300 likes by 8 p.m. on yesterday. As of 8 p.m. yesterday, the last video was sitting at 2.7 uh, thousand views and 292 likes. And we couldn't even get to the 300 light goal, so it's, it, it is what it is. Normally, I used to go go in and just say, hey, well, you know what? It is what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and, and give it anyway. But man, I can't do that, man. I, I can't because it's not that hard to hit the like button. People, nobody forgot to comment that they wanted a game. Nobody forgot to like, like you didn't even have to subscribe or nothing. The only thing I asked was hit the like button. Let's get 300 likes on each video. And then after that, just comment. We got a bunch of comments. I don't even know how many comments we got. And if we got more comments than likes, then that's, that's insane right there. Actually, uh, we didn't even get that many. We got 300 likes and we got 165 comments. So it was what it was, man. Like, it, I, I, can't, I can't just give it away, man. That's 100. I was giving away two copies. That's $150 out of my pocket. I don't even make that off YouTube. So, I mean, I'm just keeping a stack with y'all, bro. I don't make no money off of this. I'm just trying to help y'all out. So if you help me out, I can help you out. But if y'all don't hit the like button, like y'all act like I could cost something to hit the like button, it's free. So, and 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 obviously the people that commented, it's not on y'all. It's just on everybody else. They must don't want y'all to have the game, man. Y'all gotta let them boys know, man. We can run it back if y'all want to, man. Uh, but but and I can do it, and we can make the deadline be uh tomorrow, which which will be when the game actually come out, September sixth at at uh at like 8 p.m. or something, and, and I can do it, but I mean, that's up to y'all, man. Y'all let me know down in the comments if y'all wanna run it back, just put run it back down there, but we gotta reach the light goals, because if we don't reach the light goals, ain't nothing I can really do for you, man. Anyway, first off, hey man, that boy, the, the original, I'm the original swole Ludacris, but hey, hey, Luda was out there last night at the Braves game, man, hey, just, just, Luda, I gotta get rid of the guy real, Luda, that was out the first pitch. With the stand up arms on, baby. Hey, it look, it look, it look, it look like your boy, man. He got the brains bite. Hey, Luda probably did like I did, man. He said, hey, man, I had to cut it real quick. I had to cut it off real quick because I didn't know if I was going to keep it. But then when you got the 40, man, hey, 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 it ain't going nowhere now. He got the dreads, man. It is what it is, man. Like, like I said, man, um, I'm the original swole ludicrous. So, hey, it is. A, but anyway, getting into the news, man, Mike. Just wanted to clear up a couple of things, man. Somebody said, at Baluba, what is team chemistry and how does it affect gameplay or boost the team? And so Mike just came back and he just said, the team uh, the team chemistry meter awards unselfish play. So pass, assist, sharing the ball, uh, good defense, good help defense. I wonder how it quantifies help defense because that would be really hard to quantify. But I guess it, they said they have a new metric that looks at spacing and stuff so i guess if there's good spacing and then you close that space and then y'all switch the stuff which activates everybody when it activates everybody gets boosted in the area that uh further benefits the team play think of it like a team dimer badge man that's pretty dope man like you you can just play unselfishly and we can get these switches on and do all of that good stuff and, and we can and we can uh we can get to where we need to get to man we have not filled up the team chemistry meter to this point but I'm sure that, uh, you know, like maybe the help defense in the uh, proven ground, which is really just the help reach fence. Uh, you know, we, we'll see how that goes, man, because that's all people are really doing in there is reaching and reaching and reaching some more, which is cool. That's how it always is at the beginning of every 2K. And then they fix the, uh, you know, they not, I don't say they fix the passing lanes, but they tone it down. But uh, there's a big penalty for reaches. So if you just wait out some of those reaches and let them dumb asses just fly, fly by, it's cool. You can get away with it on the threes, but on the fives, it's kind of tough because because uh, they got, once they reach, they're gonna run to the next person and the next person be reaching, man. It is what it is, man. You'll figure it out. It's, it's not hard to wait it out and just dribble the ball and do your thing because ain't nobody got no real own ball steals right now. But when people get the own ball steals, I don't know how that's gonna shake out. But hey, 
it is what it is. It's a good problem to have, I guess, man. Up next, Mike says, "I right, somebody says, Abaluda, how how come people get the feedback next to their player and some not? Can you explain that? And Mike just said, hey, man, this is the feature you got to go in the features, custom HUD, uh, shot feedback, and then by default, it's set to simple, which is a which is the light text box that pops up as soon as you release the shot. If you want to see shot feedback from past uh, from past two Ks, distance shots, coverage, and all that, you'll need to set it to visibility. You need to set the visibility to user only and all shots. So that's how that's how you got to do that, man. I had to do that yesterday because it was it was really making me mad, and I really might just change it back, man, because it really just says open light coverage, tight coverage, and all of that, man. And then like uh like uh like and then like bro, I see like but so like if it's tight, if it says very tight, you might get uh very early, but that's how that happened in real life, right? Pause, pause, man, pause. Hey, well actually, hey, is that pause? I guess it could be, but not really, because it's... Anyway, anyway, man, up next, man. <laughs> up next, man, it's a kid show, man. It's a kid show. It's like X, X slaps ass. Hey, Baluba, what's the uh, what's the difference between the shot time and visual cue in the jump shot creator versus the one on the controller settings? And it says, uh, if you're using a custom jump shot from the shot creator, the shot timing visual cue slider will overtake your controller settings okay so that's something that we didn't know we did not i did not know that because i was wondering do i need to set it to the set point or whatever if you're using a non-edited nba uh nba player shot or playing with the team controlled uh team control mode it will uh it will use your controller settings so that's something that we needed to know man because i didn't have a clue how that worked i was like dang i'm, I'm really i'm really dumbfounded on that man up next mike once again was asked hey baluba why did the ball bounce on the rim on every green? Please fix. And so Mike said, "Hey, this is one of those things that's not that's not fixed. It doesn't need to be fixed. It's uh, it's, it's as intended." He says, "If you're seeing the ball bounce around the rim a lot before going in, it means that you're hitting outside the edge of the green window. You'll see switches if your timing is perfect." So I don't know if it says like like I said that's excellent or whatever or what the notes of perfect timing and all that. But 2K Labs is gonna try to help us with that, man. And they just got this little graphic here, and they're just telling you, hey, best shooting settings are high risk, high reward versus low risk and normal. So he said, go high risk, high reward. It's worth it for you. He said all to, all shot timing profiles uh, chart, uh, you know, put it on the all shot shot timing profile shot meter off. And then uh, custom visual cues. And, and, and as Mike said, you do not have to set it to the custom visual cues or anything like that. That's just automatic. So now I'm gonna we're just going right to you... we're just gonna show these uh, videos now I'm from 2K right Lab away real quick. Be... And so what they're saying is they're going to tell you, they, they're showing you how high risk, high reward. So low risk, low reward is you can hit up to 40% of your, of your whites, right? But your green window is here. So even when you're greening it, that's, this is why me and Brute was like, yo, I'm timing it perfectly and it's still not going in. But you can hit up to 40%. But now you can hit up, you can, this is right here, what it's like, like, what about, it's, 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 a, it's lower, but you can hit, no, but you're still hitting at only about 50%. So that's what they're saying there. Now, if you go high risk, high reward, you're going to make 60% on the periphery, but you'll make 100% of perfectly timed joints, man. And so, like, that's one of them things where, that's why it's high risk, high reward. You're not going to make anything out here. But you'll make, but you'll make a uh, hundred percent up there, and I think I mean that, that might be good for me. Then they came and they just said, you know, this is how you turn it on, high risk, high reward. Here That's you can where see it the is three different shooting profiles. Here we go with the, here we go to, with the three different shooting profiles. Let me mute my desktop, man. And then, uh, so the timing profiles and high risk obviously has a way higher make percentage, provided that you can time your shot properly. Like if you're not, and even, and even if you're not timing it perfectly you can still hit up to 60%. So this is still really good. Then you can hit 40% if you're a little bit outside, but like but like 40% across the board, no matter what I do, and then about 60% across the board, no matter what I do, I don't think I can deal with that, man. And that's pretty much what it's saying. Like if you, if you, if you are, if you're okay with just making, if you're okay with just missing shots just because, leave it, leave it like it is. If you're not, then hey, it is what it is. So, um, I'm not okay with that, so it's cool. And then they're telling you turn, you know, how you turn your shot meter off. Everybody knows how to turn their shot meter off. And lastly, they look at the visual cues and the custom visual cues and stuff like that. Um, with the custom visual cues, and uh, that that hey Bilal, that shot is in, insane. You you land and he almost break his leg or whatever. But 
yeah, they just tell you how those custom visual cues and stuff like that work, man. So govern yourselves accordingly on that. Um, it's hard. One thing I would say is I wish that they would change the way that it looks when you are um, change the way that it looks when you're shooting so you can actually see the shot a little bit better and do it like that. But hey, some people out there ain't got no issues with shooting, man, because they say this is what Dead Eye looks like on Legend. And like, hey, somebody paid to the end of that badge and got it put up and hey, they got Dead Eye on Legend. But I don't know if it's on Legend because I don't know if these badges pop, pop up. But if that's Random Wizard and he got Dead Eye on Legend, bro, everything got here right now too is just lightly contested or it's open. So I don't even know if you need all that, but dang, like, hey, it is what it is. And I ain't even mad at it because these dudes, like, if he's timing it perfectly and he's just light pressure and because these dudes ain't got no perimeter or whatever, then it is what it is. And that's pretty much what Don Work is saying right here. Don Work is saying if people with no perimeter defense are getting shot over, that means the game is working, not broken. And that's what it is, bro. A lot of times in previous 2Ks, you've been able to come out here with no defense to speak of and you just put steel on your build and, and do it. And I'm wondering what's gonna happen, what this game is gonna look like, because a lot of guards didn't put any perimeter defense on, they just put on like steel. And uh, when people realize that that uh, you can get shot over. Up next, hey, the left stick impressions, initial impressions. I ain't gonna lie, man, it's like a old, it's like one of the older 2Ks, it feels like, but I'm able to do some moves uh, that, I, that I normally wouldn't be able to do with the uh, left stick. So I'm, I'm, I'm cool with it, man. I think it's I think it's pretty dope, man. I'm not going to lie to you. It's just because I'm trash at dribbling. If you're not trash at dribbling, you probably turned because Brute immediately turned that off. But I'm trash. So I, I, I had to leave it on, man. It is what it is, man. Up next, my boy TJ says, I know it's only day one, but somebody's got to say it. Lightning launch needs to be buff. I went from silver to hot to hot uh, and literally didn't feel it. Different, I didn't feel a difference uh, in speed at all, and I'm moving like a slug, man. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, man. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. One thing about 2K25, hey, this bitch is slow now. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Hey, this bitch is slow, but it's nothing that you can't adapt to, and it feels like progressively every 2K we say the same thing, man. Dang, this joint's slow, man. So it's much slower than, than previous 2Ks. Totally different game. If somebody was telling y'all this is copy and paste, then they, they were lying or they just haven't played the game and they're just going by an assumption and regurgitating what somebody else said. But this joint is nowhere near. See, you see right there? Uh, Blue, they have removed the baseline from the game. And so like, like you know, you normally have that little baseline barrier right there. Hey, that thing. The truth is that it's gone. It's gone. They have given the baseline the almighty Thrustmaster. Pause, man. But up next, hey, we got that boy uh, Wolf. He, he wanted to tell y'all something, man. He said, hey, one of the new controller settings is passive ball dribble hand switches. And that's what uh, that's what the left stick thing is that uh, Zara was talking about. He says, I, I'm, I turn mine off because I like to control which hand the ball is in at all times. Just want to remind you all to take a look at this, especially the dribblers. But the dribblers, I don't think they're gonna do it. I think it's just more for the non-dribblers and stuff like that, man. So if you're a non-dribbler and you're trying to, you know, you're trying to trying to cook up a little bit, that might be what you want to use, man. Uh, up next, hey man, we got we got uh we got the Victor Wimbenyama bill, man. And I think a lot of this right here with the Wimbenyama bill, I don't know how tall this guy is, man. But I know they wouldn't let me take the ball from nobody yesterday, and I had uh and I got 99 steel, but I probably got to get it up there. Uh, pause. I got I probably got to you know increase my my uh dribbling but it ain't like he going around nobody or doing nothing like that man so i don't think it's broken i don't know how tall the bill is i wish i did but uh like i said everybody's shooting and everybody's you know every everybody mitt man everybody's making shots con that are contested um and he ain't doing nothing too crazy so i ain't, I ain't got no problem with it man i actually I, the, the women yama bill might be cool man he can move and and all of that but like that's a blowout dribble that's another blowout dribble so like it, it's not like it's like he's doing anything crazy like now that that's just a little size you see how slow that is so that's cool he, hey he doing his thing though man i'm glad that he out there hooping and he's found a way to have fun because that's what games are all about having fun and speaking of having fun the man that's having the most fun is that boy my boy yo boy c is six seven sitting atop the proving grounds. CM Nation. No, is it CM Nation? Like, I, I, I just like messing with people because people love that. CM Nation City. Uh, CM Nation sitting atop of the proving ground leaderboards. Six, six, seven.
Hey man, number one score in the proving grounds, 455 points, man. And uh, we don't know what's gonna happen tonight or, or somebody's gonna try to overtake that, you know, while he sleeps, because he do gotta sleep because he's a dad or whatever. But guess what? He'll be back today and he'll be cooking. And I'm telling you, if Sid is the competitor that y'all, because he already told y'all y'all need to be in the proving grounds and Sid is the competitor that I think he is, that I know him to be and have known him to be since I've known him. He ain't giving that up without a fight, bro. Him or lag, man. So we'll see how that goes, man. Anyway, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Put run it back down there if you if y'all want to run it back. But I'm telling y'all, the prerequisite, just like I said in the first one, it, it's, it's got to be 300 likes on the videos. If we're not getting that, bro, like I can't get 300 likes out of, I can't get 10% like coverage. I can't get that then. Like, like, is it is it is it fair for 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 anybody to expect it? Like, people not doing their part. How can I be expected to do mine? I don't know. And, and like, it's, that's crazy. That's how this world works though. Like, people don't want to do their part and then, you know, hey, can I still get that? Nah, it's, it's not gonna work like that, man. It's too much money for me to just be giving away, man. I do want to give it away. I do want to, you know, hook y'all up. I'm, I'm trying, man. I gave away $50 a week for like the first couple and then nobody was even liking the videos, man. It didn't even matter. So like, I, I always try to help y'all a lot, man. But I got I to start asking for something back, man. And, and, and it don't even cost you anything. So let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. I'll holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Chapel. Gosh, please. Gosh, please.